The Dutch town of Steenbergen, in the province of North Brabant in the south of the Netherlands, is known to many pigeon fanciers around the world as the spiritual home to the Dutch extreme long-distance pigeon. Steenbergen is the source of many outstanding strains and families such as Jan Arden, Lichtenberg and Van Agatmal, among others. There must be something in the air or water of Steenbergen which has produced such giants and greats of the sport. The family we are focusing on today is deserving of equal status of the Arden family, such has been the success of the strain of distance pigeons built by Adrianus van der Wegen and his sons, Jack and Antoon. As Madame Lucy van der Wegen said about her late husband, Antoon died 2018, when being interviewed before the clearance sale of the van der Wegen birds in 2020, Antoon was the pigeon fancier. He was always very straightforward, he gave his opinion unsalted and short. He could coach his widow as team like nobody else could. Antoon never wanted to be in a picture with one particular pigeon. For him they were all champions. Only with the Turbo, first national pal, he posed to show his wing. Antoon only wanted to have composition pictures from his pigeons. As many pigeons with results as possible in one picture as they made the name Van der Wegen famous altogether. When we attempt to write the story of this wonderful strain of pigeons there are not many articles to refer to. This was mainly because Antoon van der Wegen didn't like to be in the spotlight. Therefore, much of our account is based upon the article published for that final clearance sale in 2020. Antoon bought his base breeding mother, a dark hen, at Tynus van Meer. Tynus moved and that's why he sold all his pigeons. The dark base hen Donker Duovan had ring number 55 to 497392. Her father came from Antoon Stofflin, who had Arden pigeons in his loft. The mother came from Rombots, a hairdresser by profession, but another owner of Arden pigeons. The dark hen showed well in her first races for Antoon, maximum 400 km. Antoon believed she would be able to do more, together with his father it was decided to race the long distance races. So she was raced first from St. Vincent where she won a prize, although not highly placed, but she proved she was capable of flying the distance. After that she went to Dax and won the 11th national. A year later she won 5th national Dax. Antoon's hunger for success with her wasn't satisfied yet. It was decided to race her again from St. Vincent, this was now the year 1960. The dark hen unfortunately didn't return, and we will never know what other great birds she would have bred. In 1958 Antoon van der Wegen visited the lofts of the local grocery owner Tuntje Lichtenberg. After a bit of negotiation, it was decided that Antoon could get a couple of eggs, from any birds in the loft. He chose, and to the marvel of Lichtenberg, Antoon pointed out to the couple of eggs that were in the box at the left top corner of the loft. We are talking of a time when both the racers and breeders were mixed up amongst each other. Lichtenberg tried to get out of the deal as this couple of eggs were already promised to someone else, but Antoon stood his ground as a straight speaking man. When we get to choose, we get to choose without any excuses. So it was agreed and Antoon left with his two eggs. From these two eggs he got two cocks. One of the cocks got lost around the loft and the remaining cock was a very small, smart cock who became world famous as Oud Doffager, partly of Arden and partly of Delbar blood, it was the brother of the famous ten of Tunkia Lichtenberg. Oud Doffager was paired to De Donkia Duovin, as he was of the smaller type and she was of the bigger type. The pairing of Oud Doffager by Donkia Duovin was a super success, a true golden pair, everything that hatched was winning. We're thinking of the 86 who was, 12th, 80th and 96th National St. Vincent, 19th and 34th National Dax, De Lamb who was winner of 6th National St. Vincent, 7th, 10th and 11th National Dax, Nestes de Lamb, 28th and 43rd National St. Vincent. Unfortunately, the Donker Duovan never returned from her last race, who knows what would have come out of this golden pair. Another hen that gave a lot of joy to Antoon was de Oud 75 NL 57704975, a half-sister to the Donker Duovan. These hens both had the Rombouts hen as their dam. After the loss of Donker Duovan, the De Oud 75 was paired to Oud Doffridge this pairing also had great success. 
Known children were 52 who, 1, Second National Bergerac, 35th, 39th, 68th National Dax and 76th National St. Vincent, De Witpen, De Shrail, De 74, and Oud But real success, internationally recognized success, started with the Barcelona, NL 65-2023862. The Barcelona was a super racing cock, that won first National Barcelona against 1,101 birds as an 8-year-old in 1973, in very hard weather conditions. This was not a one-off result, as he had already won second National Dax against 2,969 birds, fifth National Barcelona against 1,238 birds. Three weeks before Barcelona, he won 14th National St. Vincent against 6,206 birds. Once in the breeding loft he gave his unique genes onwards to his children and grandchildren. His father is the previously mentioned Lamy, NL6252162, a son to Oud Doffager by Donkir Duovin, his mother the Grutas Duovin. The Grutas Duovin was bought together with her brother the Grutas Doffer at the total sale of Hub Grutas from Helmand in 1964. Hub had pigeons from his good Belgian friend Hector de Smet from Gerardsbergen who he got to know during a spell as a prison of war in World War II. After they were released they went to look for each other and Hub went home with offspring of the famous de Smet pigeons, de Prince and the Liban. When the Grutersdoffer was paired to the Zuster Lamy, NL60, 252161, a full sister to the first national Dax, they produced the unrivaled 75 Duovin, 67, 2057675. -se this hen was paired over the next three years to her grandfather, Oud Doffager, and the offspring had a very important role in the appearance of the Van der Wegen strain. The last heroes, as we noted at the beginning of the report, Antoon passed away in 2018. It's more than logical that we can't record recent results but that doesn't do anything about the breeding qualities this is more than interwoven in the DNA of the van der Wegen birds.